And thank, thanks for joining me today for another video unboxing. For you now, I've got the Red Dead Redemption 2 Collector's Box. Now, this does come with, with 8 the game initially, but you can get it with uh, various bundles. And I know some retailers offer a discount when you buy the game and this Collector's Box. But, since I, uh, I've got the game digitally, digitally? I can't say it properly. This is all ideal for me to get anyway, because I didn't want a, a second copy of the game. But anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at the box. So on the front there, we've got the main protagonist, or antagonist, depends on how you play the game, Arthur Morgan. I can't remember her name. I'm about to do a mission with her in. I think that's Dutch. I do recognise them, but I've not interacted with them much yet. Same as that me looking dude, eh? So, let's uh, open this box and have a closer look. Take all the cellophane off. Sharon, it's not actually a chest, as what the uh, marketing boxes uh, made it look as if it was, all marketing pictures, but it's a cardboard box. It's actually deceivingly heavy for the size of it. Oh, I stand corrected. It's got a lot of the chest on the inside. Eight laws for lies. Oh, I like where it opens up. So here, straight off, we've got a padlock and a key for it. Yeah, man, that is heavy. Move you down there. So, let's have a look at this. Red Dead Redemption 2. And it's it's a metal box. Cornwall. Cornwall. Freight and commodities. I was a bit concerned there when I saw the 8 box and it's cardboard. I thought, hey, have we been duped again? But yeah, man. Proper metal box. No wonder it's heavy. I was expecting it to be my, my book, a cardboard box. Not that I wanted it to be a cardboard box in the start of this design, but so I'm happy about that. A good start. So let's open this up. I don't know what we've got in here first. A box, inside a box, inside a box. Loads of stuff in here. So, we've got, let's move this back a bit. Oh, it's a, uh, a catalogue, which you see some, some of the uh, general stores in the game. Oh, that's neat. Mm, it's got a nice uh, new book smell to it as well. That is cool. All the eight fits, weapons and whatnot you can buy in the game. Cool. And what's to see here? Treasure map, I presume. Actually, looks like it's proper sketched as well. See, we've got that papery smell. A little papery smell. It's paper, but almost a like a pencil smell to it. It's cool as well. I'm not going to open this because I will never be able to put it back in. But it's a. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, obviously, ban bandana. So I don't want to open that because there's no way in how I'll be able to uh, put it all back. So we've got here uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 Challenge Coin. This is the fine off. Fiddly take off. Ah, so this is the yeah, commemorative coin. Come on. There we go. So we will sign up. Let's have a look. A powerful symbol of the American frontier, an American bison were hunted to near extinction in the late 1800s.
Oh, come off, that's, that's gonna bug me, but oh, it moves right down. I have to try and see if I can find a way to make it even more straight. That's cold as well. Neat. Got this stuff totally packed. I'll leave that one thing for now, since this is easier to get out, whatever's in here. A few items. A page. So I can't really remember what's actually in this edition. Ah, the pin badges or something. Oh, yeah. Got pin badges of uh, shotguns, a tomahawk, a knife, a rifle, and revolver. I'll keep those in there, but I don't want to end up losing them. What's this? Cigarette cards. So much cellophane. Characters, locations, and that. World Wolf that we're meeting again. Let's put his back in that box. What else in there? Ah, Red Dead Redemption 2 playing cards. Not sure why I keep on saying Red Dead Redemption 2 because quite clearly it's all going to be Red Dead Redemption 2. Got some of the characters again. World Eye from again. Neat. He's back in the box. So that's these little bits of bobs sent away. This here is the uh, map puzzle. Now, obviously, I'm not going to uh, start doing a puzzle here. Or stream. Or stream. Loaded, not streaming nothing. A cool box as well. The city of St. Dennis. I can't really read that. Oh, yeah, St. Dennis. And there we go. <sighs> All the pieces, any pieces, I'm sure it says how many pieces that is. Oh, that's, I, I work on the inside as well, Rockstar Games. And I know this is a, a map of a game. Piece, the uh, jigsaw pieces are quite thick as well. Proper wooden, not like cheap paper, which you can get with some puzzles. Put you back in there. That's a neat box. 100 piece puzzle, there we go. So, the, the packaging for each of these items, isn't it? There's nothing else in there. So, quick recap obviously, we get this cool metal tin box which has a padlocking key so you can take this stuff out and keep some secret items in there. Got a 100 piece jigsaw puzzle, and so everything as well was lovely, brilliantly packaged. Playing cards. The cigarette cards, all both of which got some neat artwork on. There's a collectible coin as well, with a plaque. That's neat. Got a pin badges as well. This was a, uh, I think that's a carbine rifle, revolver, shotgun, tomahawk, and a knife. A bandana, which I ain't gonna open because I ain't gonna be able to fold it back flat and get it back in that packaging. Sorry about that. We've got a treasure map. Which is that's the paper on that you can see so that's such good quality. Everything about this is actually really good quality. And the catalogue, which we was back, you should recognise if you've uh, visited any of the general stores in the game. So all in all, cost 100 quid, random bits and bobs, 
is expensive, but it's probably, I'd say, ideally, probably make £20 less than what the uh, RRP is. But it is a collective, a collective old time. Hopefully, it may become difficult to get hold of. And to be honest, I always regret not getting the GTA uh, collective old times as well. But I say this is a collector's edition, it's a collector's box. Collector's edition would be addition to the game, so they've worded that differently. Unlike some editions where it's a collector's edition where it doesn't get a game with it. But as I say, you can get us bundled with it, and most retailers do offer a discount if you choose to do that. Anyway, that's enough of my rambling. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, please like, share, and subscribe. All that malarkey. You can also follow me on Twitter at Solid Snake, the same as my YouTube username. And uh, with that said, thanks for watching and peace out. Now, gotta get back to some Red Dead Redemption 2.